Hello friends, welcome to the road to rehabilitation. We need to use our hands for every possible thing, even making gestures while talking. So our hands provide such a good base for our communication, our daily functions, everything. In case we lose our hand functions, how bad can it get? If one hand, for example, we don't have. And now if we come to think of it, most of our activities are actually performed somehow with both hands because we use one hand to stabilize and the other hand to actually function. We are going to discuss how simple patti can help us in recovering so many of these functions that we don't need to go to any other source of strengthening our hand or making our hand more functional. The main areas where patti can really help us is it can help us correct any kind of muscular imbalance because we can use it on both sides. Then it can help us in coordination training also. I will show in during the exercises. It has some kind of resistance. So strengthening can also happen. And finally, it can help you to provide a sensory experience because it has a texture. Pain is the main factor that controls any exercise, any movement. We always try to limit ourselves whenever we have pain. So always regard your pain, consider if you have pain, stop the activity there and then. So let's start with what we have been talking about, our patti exercises and starting with the cross hand functions. So I just need to grab it. That's the first function that I have to do. Make sure, especially if you have problems like tightness, that you don't try to prematurely fold your fingers or bend your fingers. Try to keep them as straight as possible because sometimes when the brain anticipates that a grass movement has to happen, it automatically brings your fingers to this position and then you cannot hold it. So try to keep it as close to your body as possible to start with and then you can take it further ahead as you, you get better control of your tightness. I can use the putty to hold it like a simple ball in my hand. So this is like holding a sphere. I can hold the putty like a cylinder in my hand where my fingers curl and my thumb goes over it. So the cylindrical grasp. I can try to hold the putty only with my fingers. You know, this is the common carrying movement that you have, hooking your fingers around the object and your thumb is kind of free over here. So actually helps in creating this dissociation between your thumb and your fingers. And finally the movement, which is like holding a pancake in your hand. So if you're able to grasp the putty like this, not letting it fall, at least at this angle, that is called a span grasp or like a disc, holding a disc in your hand. Now, before we progress to finer hand functions, we need to make sure that our fun fingers are functioning in, on an individual basis because that is what is required to have fine hand functions. So, for example, if I hold putty like this in my hand, can I move my thumb over it and go back? Can I do the same thing with each of my fingers?
please comment on if you have some specific kind of problem area that you want to be addressed and we will find out how Patti can help you in the same for your hand functions. So leave a like and subscribe because it's going to help me to grow my channel also and you will get much more information about different therapeutic techniques that you can apply for neurological, pediatric, orthopedic and so many other conditions. And we will meet again.